This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief. And good morning, everybody. I'm Chris Tatum with your NBC Region 33 News Brief for this Wednesday morning. A second Greenville teenager is in serious grown-up trouble this morning in connection with a drive-by shooting. Police arrested 17-year-old Ricky Powell yesterday morning and charged him with, uh, with an aggravated assault as an adult. That shooting happened Saturday on Causey Drive. Now, police say Powell and another teen drove up beside a man and fired at least one shot. The bullet missed the victim. Powell will make his first court appearance later today. The other teenager involved in that shooting faced a judge yesterday. 16-year-old Alonzo Williams is also charged as an adult with an aggravated assault. Yesterday, a judge set his bond at $15,000. Now, this is, again, part of that incident that happened on Causey Drive. Police don't yet know why these teens might have fired those shots. No word on whether police might arrest more people in connection with this crime. Well, a man is in the Yazoo County Jail this morning accused of molesting a seven-year-old seven girl. And get this, police say he's already a registered sex offender. Investigators arrested 37-year-old Jerry Porch and charged him with molestation and enticing a child. They say Porch first stopped in front of that girl's house and invited her into his car, but she refused. He then, police say, convinced her to follow him across the street where they say he inappropriately touched her. Porch was already on the Mississippi Sex Offender Registry for a crime that happened in Madison County back in 2008. Well, not every relationship is a healthy one, and Greenville, one Greenville organization is doing its part to teach high school students to recognize the difference. Our House Incorporated is hosting a 14-week course at Greenville's O'Bannon High School. They're teaching students to recognize the signs of physical and verbal abuse. Organizers hope by educating students about good and bad relationships, it'll make dating more enjoyable and will stop abuse, especially during prom season. I travel, I'm constantly asked, how do we stop the violence? And it's simply one word, we educate. And in educating them, we need to make sure that they understand what we're saying and what we're teaching them as it relates to stopping the violence. And Our House Incorporated is also hosting relationship courses at Shaw High and Clarksdale High. Well, one Greenville teenager is in jail tonight, another in juvie lockup after police say they caught them in the act trying to break into a house. Police charged one of those teens, 18-year-old Donnell Shaw, with attempted house burglary. The other teen is a juvenile, and police can't say what they charged him with. Around 9.30 yesterday morning, police responded to a call on Celeste Street. That's where they say they caught the teens trying to break into that house. Now, Shaw will face a judge later today to answer to that attempted burglary charge. That is your NBC Region 33 News Brief for this Wednesday morning. We hope you have a good day. This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief.